are the headlines for today's Radio 1 News Update. Cambodia's refugee deal with Australia turns to districts to be handed primary schools reigns. U.S. and South Korean missile destroyers in fresh show of force to North Korea. Syria airstrikes kill 85 people in Aleppo amid diplomatic row. This is the Radio 1 News Update. I'm Lady Miriam. Two years ago today, to the sound of clinking champagne glasses, Interior Minister Samdek Sarkang inked a deal with Australia's Immigration Minister to accept refugees detained on Nauru. Five refugees took up the offer, but of those five, only one still remains. Beginning this year, the Education Ministry will hand over management of 625 primary schools, 4,874 teachers, and over 170,000 students to 14 districts in Badenbong as part of a new initiative to decentralize and improve primary education. Coming up next, international news. The U.S. and South Korean navies put on a show of force in the Sea of Japan, the latest in a string of displays of military might in response to North Korea's testing of nuclear warheads and ballistic missiles. Syrian forces pounded rubble-held eastern Aleppo, killing at least 85 people and wounding more than 300 others. The bombardment destroyed residential centers, overwhelmed hospitals, and angered diplomats meeting at the United Nations. This has been the Radio 1 News Update. Stay tuned for more news on Radio 1 FM 103.7.